Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Lausch Posse Eva Claire Duo Plus and the Eva Claire Ultra Concentrate Zone. Now the Eva Claire Duo Plus helps to brighten the skin, unclog pores, regulate oiliness and has anti-inflammatory properties. Whereas the Eva Claire Ultra Concentrate Zone has a nice blend of AHA, glycolic acid, BHA, salicylic acid and LHA, lipohydroxy acid, which is a derivative of salicylic acid, which is in general an exfoliating acid zone that should help us to loosen the bonds between the dead skin cells and the new skin cells for a much smoother skin texture, to brighten the skin, to let go of the dullness that you may experience as well as uh, reduce hyperpigmentation. And then with salicylic acid and LHA has again uh, anti-inflammatory properties, helps to unclog pores and regulates oiliness. So overall those are two great treatments that you can use if you have normal to oily acne prone skin. And so they can be quite potent, which of course always depends on your skin tolerance. But I want to share with you a little frequency guide plus example skin keratin of what it can look like and then later on I want to share with you the application. So when it comes to the La Roche-Posay for Claire Duo Plus, you can use this one in the morning and or evening. Now I suggest starting off in the first four weeks by using it once per day. Ideally Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So two to three times per week so that uh, your skin can get used to it. If you're using it in the morning, you wash your face, then use the Eva Claire Duo Plus and then follow up with sunscreen. In the evening, it's just your cleansing step and then the Eva Claire Duo Plus. And when it comes to the Eva Claire Ultra Concentrate Zone, since it is an exfoliating acid zone, I suggest using it only in your evening skincare routine and then use it on days when not using the Eva Claire Duo Plus. So this would be done on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. And then you have Sunday where you can give your skin a break. And so you would use the Eva Claire Zone after your cleansing step before applying your moisturizer. Now you can see that the moisturizer is an optional step. Um, the moisturizers that I have picked are great for normal to oily acne prone skin. So if over time dryness should occur, you can go ahead and use it afterwards. Otherwise just leave it out since the Eva Claire Zone on its own may also feel hydrating enough as it does also contain some hydrating ingredients. So this is a point where you can go ahead and adjust it. But throughout the first four weeks, this is the frequency that I recommend you're going to follow so that you're not going to overdo it, that you can see how your skin is going to respond to it. Because in case irritation should occur, it's not going to be as severe because you're not using both products daily or even in the same routine. So this way you're making sure that you can avoid irritation. And if it should occur, then you know that you are going to use one of the treatments less often. And then once you've passed those four weeks you can go ahead and increase it to every other day and then maybe up to daily and so if you're thinking of then increasing the frequency by using it more often then I suggest using the Eva Claire Duo Plus only in your morning skincare routine. So after cleansing step before applying your sunscreen. And then in the evening, this is where you would use the Eva Claire Ultra Concentrate Zone to gently exfoliate the skin. And so you can see the steps, you can see what products that I have picked, plus you have a more in-depth frequency guide on how you can get started. In general, how often you can use them depends on your skin tolerance. The slower you start, the more you can avoid irritation. If you're going to use both products immediately daily or even in the same routine, the risk of experiencing stinging, burning or redness is it's much greater. And then you have to give your skin a break and start all over again. So this is what I'm trying to avoid. And so if you want to go over the example routine in your own time, you want to see the products that I have picked plus their benefits, you want to see a general skincare tips guide, why it is important to properly wash your face, uh, the difference between damp and wet skin and why you should not apply your skincare products to wet skin, as well as how you can avoid skincare pilling, plus a more detailed application and removal guide when working with your sunscreen. So all that information is in the PowerPoint, which I'm going to leave in the description box down below. And now I want to share with you a little application when it comes to using those treatments. So I'm going to keep my main focus on using the Eva Claire Duo Plus in the morning and then the Eva Claire Zone in the evening. And I'm going to get started with the evening skincare routine. 
So for your evening skincare routine, washing your face is extremely important, especially if you have one sunscreen and on makeup throughout the day, because this is where you may have to do some adjustments depending on the sunscreen and on makeup that you have picked. So if you have one light sunscreen and on makeup, your regular cleanser is enough to properly take everything off the skin. Like I went with Cosrx Alloy Soothing Sunscreen, that one comes off with your regular cleanser. However, if you should have one mineral sunscreen and or heavier makeup your regular cleanser is often not strong enough to properly take it off and this is where I suggest using an oil or balm cleanser instead which is able to properly break it down is very gentle and hydrating on the skin you can use your oil or balm cleanser on its own or if you should feel the need you can do a double cleanse by using your oil or balm cleanser at first and then move on to your regular cleanser I do have the specific guide all in my PowerPoint I'm now just going to go with the regular cleanser so I'm going to to use La Roche Posay if I clear purifying foaming gel cleanser as an example which needs to be applied to wet skin and then rinse it off properly from the skin and you can wash your face above the sink or in the shower when working with water use lukewarm water to warm water and washing your when washing your face above the sink make sure that you're going to use a soft clean microfiber washcloth which you're going to wet squeeze it out and then use a damp washcloth to remove any last traces um, from your cleanser sunscreen and or makeup. Generally speaking, I recommend uh, washing your face then in the shower because especially if you have applied your sunscreen on your ears, behind the neck, as well as maybe your decolletage, it's much easier to remove in the shower than above the sink. But now for this purpose, to show you the entire demonstration, I'm doing everything above the sink so that you can see how you can properly do this. So let's go ahead and get started. So now go ahead and take a clean toe and gently paddle over to remove the excess water from the skin surface. So once you're done with your cleansing step, you now can move on to La Roche-Posay for Claire Ultra Concentrate Zone. Now that one has a quite a thick texture, so you do not need a lot. I recommend using about three to four drops for your face and neck as it spreads out quite easily and you have enough time to blend it then all over. Just make sure that when doing the application to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth. And please do not use it on top of your eyelids, do not use it on the eye contour and do not use it on top of your lips. Yep. Then rub your hands or fingertips together and apply it evenly all over. So, and once you have applied it all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. So since I'm going to go with the evening skincare routine, you're going to leave it on the skin for the entire night. And then the next morning when washing your face again, this is when you're going to wash it off. Now you can stop right here, leave it as it is if it feels hydrating enough. However, if you now say, well, I do experience a bit of dryness, or if you have a normal skin type, then you may tend to have a bit more of dryness after such treatments, then now you can go ahead and follow with a lot lightweight moisturizer afterwards and so I had two great examples in my example skin care routines and with this one I'm going to go with Geek and Gorgeous Hydration Station which is a very lightweight a gel to light lotion a texture that you then can apply on top of your Ifaclar serum evenly all over but again make sure that you're not getting it into your eyes nor into your mouth and please make sure to not use it on top of your eyelids nor on top of your lips. So use about a P to a bean size amount. 
so that you have an even and thin layer that you can apply all over. So, and once you have applied it all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off, and then this is going to be the last step in your evening skincare routine. And then there you have it. But now, let's have a look at the morning skincare routine. So for your morning skincare routine, before you're going to apply your Effaclad Duo Plus, it is important to properly wash your face to remove any excess oil dirt and sweat from the skin. Please do not skip this step since you have already oily acne prone skin. And this can be done with your regular cleanser or if you just want to go with an oil or balm cleanser then that's completely fine as well. But in the morning there's no need to do a double cleanse. One cleanser is enough. Now I have already washed my face so that I can spare you this time as I already demonstrated it for the evening skincare routine and now you can then after your cleansing step immediately move on to the application of your Effaclad Duo Plus which you can use only on certain areas or all over the entire face and neck and then based on that of course you would need to adjust the amount of product that you're going to use. Overall for your face and neck you can go with about a bean size amount as it has a very gel like texture so you want to make sure that you have an even and thin layer all over that absorbs quickly into the skin so please do not overdo it because it is still a treatment and when doing the application do not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth please do not use it on top of your eyelids be careful on the eye contour mainly do not get it too close to the lower lash line as well as do not use it on top of your lip So about that much more or less now for my entire face. If you want to include your neck as well, you may want to use a tiny bit more, but again, do not overdo it. And when I'm talking about just using it on specific areas, let's say you have combination skin, you're getting mainly oiliness uh, in your T-zone, and this is also where you experience acne, well then you can also just use that treatment on that area. But if you have it all over, you have oily skin all over, then it's of course completely fine to use this treatment all over. So, and once you have applied it all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. So you're going to leave it on the skin for the entire day. And now it is important to follow with sunscreen afterwards, if you have sun exposure, so that you can properly protect the skin from the damaging UV rays. So first of all, that your enlarged pores do not get more enlarged. That your dark spots, which you may experience currently from your previous acne, that they do not get any darker. But overall also, um, prevent premature aging and in the worst case scenario getting a sunburn or even like a skin cancer. So you want to make sure that you're using your sunscreen properly in the morning if you know that you're going to leave the house. And so when going ahead with your sunscreen, go ahead grab your favorite sunscreen. As an example right here I have Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sunscreen. This is a great example that I can recommend. And as a general guide use about half a teaspoon for your face, ears and neck. If you want to include your decolletage, if you have more exposure on your decolletage as well, you can fill it up bit, like up to one teaspoon. Now, of course, that amount can be adjusted depending on how large or small your face may be, but you should have the idea that you need enough product to properly blend it all over. And you can use your sunscreen um, around the eyes as well. Just make sure to not get it into your eyes. Um, however, if you have sensitive eyes or let's say the sunscreen irritates your eyes, then you can avoid your eye area of course uh, and then either wear sunglasses instead or exchange your sunscreen to a sunscreen that you can use around the eyes. So you really need to do some adjustments if like you would have some problems around that area. But nonetheless I'm not going to use Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sunscreen. I have half a teaspoon right here which I'm going to fill up and make sure to apply your sunscreen 10 to 15 minutes before sun exposure. So about that much, more or less. Rub it between your fingers and then apply it evenly all over. The 
So, and once you have applied it all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And don't forget to reapply your sunscreen after strong activities, like sweating, swimming, so that you're making sure that you can maintain that protection. And so this is the example morning skin care routine that I want to share with you so that you can see the proper application. And this is the video that I want to present to you. I do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you find it helpful. Remember, you can get the PowerPoint in the description box down below. And if you now want to learn more about skincare in general, you may want to see more about Lausch Posay products. I'm going to leave some of the videos at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching or feel free to check out my YouTube channel for more content. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.